So this is my travel bag. Never ask a girl to clean the liner while she's late. It's a Jouer bag that they gave us at um, Generation Beauty. Okay guys, so here's the lavishness of my cabin, aka not so lavish. Um, basically, this is like a crew cabin, like a solo crew cabin. I don't stay in the guest cabins, but it's all mine. Um, which is great. I have all of my makeup set up. Um, I'll show you what products I brought with me, but life is amazing because Bridget Jones is on the TV. And I have my Heartburst Bazaar. And I just bought my first MAC lipstick in the shade Peach Blossom. So I got my books here. I brought got the Mindy Kaling book. Shamefully, the Fifty Shades of Grey, like, I don't know. It's basically that book from his perspective, because you know, you always need a trashy read. And then Rob Lowe's new autobiography, so that should be fun. Um, my hair stuff up here, and these are all the makeup products I brought. Let's see if you can get in focus. Okay, so I have here my Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder, Gel Eyeliner, Champagne Pop, my BB bronzer from Physicians Formula, my Hourglass bronzer, my Cheek Pop from Clinique, um, Pure Minerals Foundation, It Cosmetics by, by Pores, my Holy Grail Essence Mascara, some of the Pure Minerals um, eye polishes, a couple of Makeup Geek pigments. I love the new Makeup Geek packaging. Have you guys seen this? So gorge. This is the old packaging. Eye cream, my disgusting Fake Beauty Blender. You know, some other random stuff. My palette, these are the palettes that I made for this trip. They're actually really like fall-ish, even though I'm gonna be in the sun. And some other powders. And then these are my kind of foundation items. And that's the Pure Minerals Miracle Mist in the back. That's my new HG, baby. Makeup Forever Face and Body. L'Oreal Infallible, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This is a scar cream. Um, I have a scar that I keep, when I get in the sun, I can't let it get in the sun. And yeah, some other goodies. My nail polish and nail top coat just in case my nails chip. And then I have some goodies in this little bag as well. Just some lippies stuff so that I have choices. And here is my brush setup. I have my Makeup Forever brush holder that I got from Generation Beauty. Um, those are all my big brushes. And then all my baby brushes, I just used the cup that was in the bathroom. That's usually what I do. Um, so that's my setup, y'all. This is my tiny little space for the next 14 days. It's not really glamorous. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm excited to meet the cast and see what we have going on. And uh, I'll see you in... Not a bad view for your work, huh? Pretty gorgeous. We're on our way to Barbados and we just finished our first rehearsal. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at those clouds. Hey guys, um, so we just finished our first rehearsal and it ended up being a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, they are majority, like 90% non-English speakers this past, so I was a little nervous, but they're a really awesome group of people, really eager and uh, willing to give it their all, so I'm excited. So day one of rehearsal is good, um, so I'm going to see them perform on the show tonight, and uh, then I'll probably just call it an early night because we have an early rehearsal tomorrow, but um, I'm really happy with how things are going um, until day two. Hey guys, I'm just getting ready to watch the cast in their show. Really excited. Hi guys, I'm in St. Lucia. Um, it's really pretty. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see. Um, I'm gonna go meet my friends today who I 
used to work with on ships and she's on a ship that's also here today so we lucked out um, so I'm gonna have lunch with her and then I have rehearsal again at 9 tonight so I have plenty of time to drink and then be sober by <laughs> work time um, just kidding um, but um, I'll see you guys in a little bit bye so this is my dinner tonight I'm having a rare steak with some uh, meats and cheese. Super healthy. Just kidding. <laughs> So today I am in Antigua, but I'm not getting off because I've been here a thousand times. So instead I'm just going to lay out here in the solarium and read Rob Lowe's new autobiography. Shameful. This is Antigua, but I'm choosing to be here. <laughs> So I got bored, so I decided to clean my makeup brushes and watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> okay, just want to show you, I'm going to go to, oh, that's Alexandria Garza talking in the background. Let me turn her off. Okay, so this is my outfit for tonight. I'm going out to dinner and seeing my cast in their show. It has little cutouts. I got this in a clothing swap with a couple of my friends. I think it's really cute. It's like kind of casual, but like faux dressy. You know what I mean? Because it's long. Um, I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear with it because I didn't really bring the right shoes for this. But um, I can show you my makeup too. I don't know if you can really see it in this like horrible lighting and video quality, but um, hopefully you can kind of get the gist um missing you guys and wishing i could like take more like video and stuff for you like live not like this vlog but like my instagram and my snapchat the, the internet's just really slow so i'm trying but uh, i miss you guys and so off i go again to hang out by myself <laughs> which is getting a little old to be honest tomorrow and I have to go meet the sound guy and give him all the sound cues before the cast comes and we do another run through. We're in St. Martin tomorrow which is one of my favorite ports and uh, I don't think the weather's supposed to be that great but um, I'm still gonna have a fun time. Uh, a lot of my favorite restaurants and cafes and stuff are there. I've been there on every contract I've ever done so uh, yeah excited for tomorrow but I'm getting sleepy so I think it's time for bed. one of my favorite ports at least in the Caribbean so I thought I'd be remiss if I didn't get off even though I'm so exhausted um, but yeah this isn't the best view of it but this is honestly one of my favorite places there's a Dutch side and a French side cruise ships get dropped off at the Dutch side but there are still a couple of French cafes and if you want to take a taxi to the French side you can I've done that many times it's really cool I'm just gonna walk around go to some of my favorite places and maybe head back because I'm super tired I got like two hours of sleep but we had a great rehearsal today so I'm excited favorite 
places I've ever been in the entire world. I've been here many times. So I've been here many times and uh, this is where my boyfriend and I fell in love. And um, we were working on ships and our first few dates were out in San Juan and we love going out here. So it's just really nice to be back. I've been here a few times since then, obviously like a few hundred times. But um, it's weird to be here without him. It's always sad when I have to be here without him. But I love walking around here and it's awesome. I get to have uh, US service, which is great. <laughs> Mimosa time! Woo! Beautiful! Yummy! It's my smoked salmon and goat cheese baked eggs with some chickpeas on the side. So far, so good. So this is the restaurant that Matt and I went on our first lunch date. Um, I mean, we had like know met and hung out and stuff before but this is like when we went on our first official date so whenever I see this restaurant I always have really you know sweet feelings about it so today is day two and um, we're almost near the end of our rehearsal process. Uh, we open on day four, um, but today we're not meeting until the evening. So today we are in St. Thomas, which is one of my favorites. It's an old standby. I've been here like a hundred million times. Um, so I'm gonna go get some sushi at one of my favorite places called Benny Iguana, and um, just enjoy the day. There's lots of good shopping here too. I'm gonna try not to buy anything and uh, just relax until we have rehearsal tonight. Um, the cast is doing an amazing job and. Um, I'm sad to let our time be, you know, almost over working with them, but then we still have until day seven, um, so there's still lots of time to still enjoy this work uh, trip, and I'm really excited, so let's show you some of St. Thomas. Little do they know that all their friends are about to be my lunch. Oh, that's cruel, right? So these are New Zealand mussels. Like normally when you have mussels in the States, they're from like French Canada. You know what I mean? Um, like Nova Scotia area, Newfoundland, but um, you can see the shells are like brown and green instead of like black and blue because um, they're New Zealand mussels and they're like a Thai sauce in there and they're hot. Um, oh my god, they're so good. Honestly guys, I don't even remember what I ordered, but I think I just got a Philly roll, Philly roll, something else, spicy tuna maybe? And then um, that back roll, I don't even remember, I think it's spicy crab and fresh salmon and then I just got a half order of tuna sashimi, but like, is that not the most beautiful looking tuna you've ever seen in your whole life? Bright red, amazing, super awesome, so excited.
fashion show tonight, and then it's opening night tomorrow for Murder Mystery Dinner. I'm really excited for that. jungle lady outfit for tonight um just found out that we have to do opening night in a completely different venue than we've been rehearsing for the last two weeks so i'm a little upset and by a little upset i mean a lot upset um there was some confusion with like the booking and stuff so it's just difficult so yeah um we're gonna have an emergency rehearsal tomorrow because we're still expected to open, <laughs> even though we've never rehearsed in this new venue. So, um, but you know what? I believe in the cast and we're gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna go see them at the production show and then give them the bad news <laughs> and we will figure it out. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> as much as I tried, we couldn't change the venue or change the day. So we have to completely do a new number not number, like a new act one in a completely different venue. And um, we're gonna do what we can. And I just spent like the last couple of hours in the new venue trying to reblock and come up with new configurations for them to learn tomorrow to perform that night, which is kind of crazy, but um, I believe they can do it. So tomorrow is a new day and uh, just gotta stay positive. Um, but I think that they can handle it. And if we can handle this, we can handle anything. So here's to a good day tomorrow and a great opening night tomorrow. Poor guys, I feel so bad for them. Okay, I'll see you. Good morning. It's the day of the show, y'all. It's a sea day. You can see some of the people down by the pool, running the running track, taking in the vistas. Um, this is our new space um, for the vent for our show tonight. This is basically like the dance club. Um, we will be doing the show right over there on that dance floor, and then like just turning all these chairs that way. It's very different from our original um venue and that our original venue had a stage and a backstage curtain so we can make entrances and exits in private but now we are all exposed um so it's just going to change a couple of things but i'm confident that we'll be able to handle it and that we will still deliver a great product and that's what uh we're here for and what i'm here for to help the cast um you know give the best possible product that we can so it's very very early and we are going to have this rehearsal and uh, yeah <laughs> coffee time well that turned out like markedly better than I thought it would um, the rewalk is great actually um, it totally works I had to change some things and we added things because of the venue allowed for them and uh, just really really great uh, really 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 pleased and really proud of the cast and we're gonna have a great show tonight so all is well on our front I'm going to finish reading my Rob Lowe autobiography and then start getting ready and uh, I'm meeting the cast in a couple hours to look at the second staging area venue for our act two which is in a different spot um, then Act One is, and that's always that's always like that. Um, but it, the setup is particular for the show, so they haven't seen it yet. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then get ready, and then we'll open night, and I'm really excited! Yay! You guys, they did it! They were amazing. Like so proud, so impressed totally knocked it out of the park um and that's an understatement the guests had such an amazing time they were all shaking my hand and the portofino waiter's hand and the maitre d's hand and saying 
what an amazing time they had and how much fun it was and what a good job everyone did and it was just the most rewarding thing and this is exactly why I do what I do and um, the cast was really had a blast and they were really surprised at how much fun they had because you know they were nervous they didn't know how fun it was going to be and I told them if you prepare there's no reason to be scared and we prepared so it was really 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 amazing I'm really proud of them and I'm really excited to take these Coco Goddess lashes off because they weigh a thousand pounds um so yeah I'm gonna wash my face I have some champagne maybe I'll drink it maybe I'll drink it tomorrow but just feeling really good, really happy on a job well done for everyone. And uh, next three days, just relaxing and enjoying our hard work. And yeah, great. <sighs> All right, night night. On my way to lunch. On my way to lunch, like no makeup, a little bit of bronzer, I'll fly. Hi. Hello, 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 day five, week two. Um, this is Aruba. Am I getting off today? No. <laughs> so you guys are probably wondering why I had like rarely got off for these last two weeks. Um, when you're working and you're making money and to go to the beach costs $20 in a cab and buying food somewhere and, and you've been to all these places like hundreds of times, there's just like the appeal goes away, you know what I mean? Like when I was working on ships, I'd get off so that I can get Wi-Fi. I've had Wi-Fi this whole time on the ship, and um, that's why I would get off and to get some non-ship food because I knew I had like nine months of it, you know. <laughs> so just to break up the monotony, but but I'm here to work and I want to save money and you know earn money and not spend it all. Um, I don't really get off. I don't feel the need, you know. People probably think I'm wasting my time, but you know, this is a job for me, and I'm, it's an amazing job. But uh, I've I've had my fun in these places, so I hope you aren't too bored <laughs> with this trip. I'm sorry, I don't have any fun, like beach photos or uh, you know, pina colada sipping, you know, moments. But uh, that's not what I'm here to do. This is a new vacation, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys understand. So this is the book I've been reading this whole time, and it's amazing, like truly amazing, so entertaining. So the cast just did their second production show of the week, um, fourth show that I've seen, and uh, they were amazing. So I'm going to go wish them um, congratulations, I guess is what I'm supposed to be saying, wish them congratulations, I don't know, tell them congratulations on a good show, and uh, I don't know what the rest of the night entails, but I'm pretty dressed up, so... I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> to pack and um, it's just difficult because I definitely bought two big things of <coughs> single malt scotch for my boyfriend um, because there's this store in St. Martin that sells um, stuff basically that we can't get in the States so I bought some but now it's making my bag too heavy so I'm trying to like figure out how to disperse everything you know what I mean um, so I'm a little stressed also I need things for tomorrow morning that I can't pack, but I have to have my bag out by tonight so that they can take it and put it through security and then I can pick it up in the port tomorrow in San Juan. It's always a drag. Um, normally I would just like not be fancy and wear my same clothes that I'm wearing tonight, 
tomorrow, but uh, I'm not doing that. So, um, yeah, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But uh, it's just kind of, it's always a little bit stressful packing, getting off the ship. Um, but I'm mostly done. But I think right now I'm just going to go and uh, get some dinner and watch the end of the farewell show. And then I'm going to have a few drinks probably with my friend Kyle. And um, yeah, that's the plan. And then I'm going to watch them do the jazz set. That's my night. So yeah. Um, hope this wasn't boring for you. And uh, yeah, it's just been a great trip. I'm really kind of actually kind of sad to leave. But I'm excited because once I get home, it's only one more week until I'm with Matt. So thrilled. Uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys in a